Hi, I just want to share a couple things that I've uh, just added to my 2015 Ford Transit 130 inch wheelbase, medium roof, cargo van, uh, camper conversion. So I was looking for a sunshade of some sort. Thought about building my own out of Reflectix, uh, looked online, and I found WeatherTech had a set of the front three and they guarantee that they fit uh, good. So I went ahead and purchased those. They were here within a day or two and uh, they fit excellent. So I've got the windshield in and I've got the two side windows installed in the van right now. It's completely blacked out, a uh, huge difference in temperature. I chose the 130 inch wheelbase because I like the small compact um, vehicle that I can park anywhere we go. So if we go to a national park, there's no length restrictions on roads we can go down. I can get in about any parking lot, you know, and we don't have a lot of room in the 130 inch wheelbase. A couple things that I wanted, um, I'm over six feet tall, so I had to have a bed that ran lengthways instead of side to side. And then as you can see here, um, you know, we're still under construction here, but not a lot of space on the inside of the van here. I did add a sink. We've got a few uh, little things like a table that pops out, but then when we get all this out, you can see there's really not a lot of seating and there's two of us. So me and my wife both are gonna be traveling in the van. And so I wanted to do something to add a little bit of space. Since we didn't have a lot of space in here and there's two of us traveling and I've got the bench seat over here to my left, I did wanna add the swivel seat. So I went online and I looked at several different reviews and what I ended up um, picking was one on eBay and it's worked out really well. It's a good quality. I can kind of show you here. It's super simple installation. You take the four torque bolts out, put the platform in here, and then you've got four bolts. It takes 10 minutes tops to have this in. It locks in place at different uh, positions. One thing you do have to do is you have to slide the seat forward to turn it, but it's no big deal because it really adds a, uh, a great amount of space inside the van. I like to mountain bike, but I also like to get in and out of my vehicle. Uh, when I mountain bike with friends, we like to go to different places during the, during the day. And I really don't want to have to, if I was going to do that, I didn't want to have to disassemble my bike every day. So I went online, uh, Facebook Marketplace, I found a Kuat Pivot. So there's just a pin and a lever down here, and then you can swing this away 90 degrees, which is pretty awesome. Uh, locks into place, and then you're able to get full access to your doors. Uh, you pull the doors all the way out, and then you've got access to the back. So super cool. Um, you can buy those online. There's a lot of different people that make them, but uh, it's definitely something that I need when I'm going to be local and just uh, you know going to different mountain bike parks or riding bikes. Also, one of the cool things is it's not an integrated piece that, that's with my rack or my bikes, so I will be able to, in the future, I'm gonna fabricate a, uh, a box on the back, potentially to put in a generator or just more gear and stuff. And then I could actually put a, a spare tire carrier and just have all that swivel out. The capacity on that pivot from Kuat, um, which is located in Springfield, Missouri, is like 250 pounds, so you can put quite a bit of stuff on there. The only downside I see, it is kind of low to the ground, but uh, if you're not going to do any off-roading or anything too crazy, I mean, I go up a national forest road all the time, never have an issue with...